She has more awards for her musical talent than you can count on your hand. And you may know her best as the singing voice of Disney's Pocahontas. And you can watch her perform live when she performs tonight in Carmel. Judy Kuhn joins us live. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, yes. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Listen, when I tell my girls today when I go home that I spoke to the singing voice of Pope Honest, they're gonna, I might actually be cool to them for the first time in a long time. Oh, so, yeah, thank Cody. you. I'm very excited. Okay. Well, I'm glad I could do that service for you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I, I think everybody wants to talk about Pocahontas, and we will. But your career, it's not defined by Pocahontas. You have had a career in theater, talk all these awards. Talk about your career and what it's meant to you and some of the highlights. Oh, well, I'm been, <laughs> I've been around for so long, it's hard to say what the highlights are. But um, my career primarily has been in the theater. I've done a little film and television, but my my first love is the theater um and i i think of myself as a storyteller whether i'm standing on a stage singing songs i'm telling a story and i i just i love the um I, I love live performance i love telling a story in front of a live audience and that's really that's what i love when you're talking about live audiences, obviously, depending on where you're performing, those audiences could be big, smaller, whatever. Right. Does it matter as far as like the size of that goes, or is it kind of that same approach every time? Well, I mean, <clears throat> obviously, if you're in a 2,000-seat Broadway house, it's a different experience than being in a small, intimate theater or a cabaret space. Um, the relationship with the audience obviously is different, but um, your job is the same. Yeah. You know, your job is the same. What's it like for you to perform somewhere like Feinstein's? You know, it took me, I, I was, for years, all, what I did was I played a character, I was on stage with other actors, we were telling a story together, um, and obviously you're aware of the audience and they're part of the show, but performing in concert or in a cabaret space is such a different experience, and for me, it was terrifying, the idea of it, so it took me many years to get the courage to do that because I wasn't used to just standing in front of an audience and being myself. Um, but I've learned over the years there's something really wonderful in being in direct conversation mm -hmm. with an audience. You know, I love the audiences who will talk to me while I'm on stage. <laughs> um, yeah. And I like to talk to them. So it's really, I, I've learned to really enjoy it. It's fun getting to know you as a person and, and getting to know <laughs> some of the behind the scenes of Pocahontas. You shared with us before oh. this segment that during part of the recording, you were pregnant. Yes, my daughter was born in the fall of 1994, and the movie was released in 95. And I was saying that that's how I always remember when the movie was released. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. So, yeah, she was in the studio with me for the very tail end of the recordings. Wow. What's an experience like that? I mean, obviously the songs in that movie have lasted this long and they're popular right. even today. So for you, what's it like when you see someone or hear someone singing those songs and loving <laughs> that character that way? Well, you know, being a creature of the theater, you know, which is very ephemeral, it's like it's there and it's gone. It's really, it's wonderful mm -hmm. to have something that I was associated with that will be there forever. And because the tradition of Disney is so wonderful and it gives people so much pleasure, kids and adults alike, it's, it's, it's great to be a part of that tradition and knowing that it will always bring joy to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> and being in theater, you know, I, even just talking with you, you talk with your hands, you talk with your face, you have all these expressions. What was it like? My husband always makes fun of it. I use my hands when I, I love it. I do the same thing. But what was it like to see your voice being used with an animated character? Were you like, I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't that yeah. face. <laughs> it's a strange thing. It's a, it's a funny thing. Well, you know, w while you're recording, the animator who's going to be drawing that your character is in the studio with I you. I love that. And, yeah. and he took, he sketched me all the time when I was in the studio and they do a lot of video, reference video, because they do want to capture the way you breathe, the way you turn your head, you, you know, or your expression on a particular word. They, and they do really capture that. The so. talent it takes. That's Insane exciting. Talent. All the information you need to see her tonight. And tomorrow. And tomorrow in Carmel <laughs> is right there on that QR code. 
Thank you so much for being with oh, us. I thank mean, just you so much for having pleasure. me. <laughs> I was fun.